Bitcoin is looking super bullish right now. The hash rate is just going absolutely mental. So let's jump into this. We're going to go through the news. We're going to go through the trades. We're going to go through the macro and the TA. Uh, and then we're going to end the video. I did not mean to rhyme that. Let's jump in with the news first. <laughs> Breaking news! BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF inflows have surpassed those of the Magnificent Seven stocks in 2024, positioning Bitcoin as the second biggest asset class in terms of inflows this year. With nearly 19 billion accumulated in BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust ETF, analysts predict that Bitcoin's price could reach 88,000 by September, driven by these substantial ETF inflows. Additionally, US Bitcoin spot ETFs now hold over 61 billion in on-chain holdings, which is over 4.6% of the total Bitcoin supply. This surge reflects increasing institutional interest and market optimism in Bitcoin, potentially boosting Bitcoin's price and mainstream acceptance, or they just want to control it. In other news, Mt. Gox has transferred over 47,000 BTC worth almost 3.2 billion to unknown addresses on July 23rd. This move significantly reduces Mt. Gox's Bitcoin reserves, which now stand at around 42,744 BTC. Following the exchange's repayment statement on July 5th, it seems the repayments to creditors are well underway. Mt. Gox has moved over 12 billion in Bitcoin since July 16th, impacting market dynamics as large volumes re-enter circulation. But overall, there is a lot more inflows via the ETF than outflows via Mt. Gox. Thank you, Mr. News Hamilton. Let's jump straight into this beautiful video here, guys. What we're looking for right now uh, is this hash ribbons to cross. We already have a buy signal on the Caprol chart here, uh, and that's fantastic. Normally, when we get that, uh, we do get massive, massive buy signals, the last one being in August, uh, and then Bitcoin essentially doubled in price from that point before we got the sell signal. So uh, what we are going to say here is very, very bullish for hash rate. I'll show you my version of hash rate, which is a little bit more cautious. We haven't got a cross towards the upside just yet, but I'll be letting you guys know on this channel, so be sure to subscribe to that to uh, to figure that out and, and hear that right <laughs> to be updated about that uh, if we are looking at this right here right now uh, we can see on the liquidation heat map that um, yeah I mean we are just liquidating people uh, towards the upside now we did hit a pretty pretty beastly barrier here um, on the downside. So uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense to go up a little bit here. We do have some more liquidations appearing as this uptrend has started. So uh, yeah, don't rule out more downside here. Again, we do have that CME gap that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But uh, let's finish off the on-chain and the ETF stuff first before we jump into the TA here, right? <coughs> so uh, yeah, we are seeing electricity consumption index, how much people are spending on electricity to mine Bitcoin here. We can see, uh, yes, that is a pretty steep slope at the moment. If we can get a above this kind of high here on that, uh, I think we just probably go parabolic from there. Uh, I know that's super, super uh, aggressive in terms of me saying stuff like that, but yeah, I mean, I think I think we're very, very close to a huge run here for Bitcoin. Okay, as the news said, a lot of analysts are saying 88K. I don't disagree with that. I think 80K is probably uh, an appropriate target and then a bit of a pullback and then absolutely monstrous pumps to 120K plus, right? Uh, but if we're looking at the uh, ETFs here, we got um, more and more inflows, right? We haven't really had uh, outflows since the 7th, okay? Or no, since the 3rd, sorry. <laughs> These are US dates, okay? Uh, but yeah, we can see, uh, yeah, since the third we haven't had any outflows here all inflows some of them 300 million 400 million and then the most recent one we had uh, on the 19th was 427 million inflows okay crazy 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 stuff We're looking at fear and greed index did have that pullback yesterday guys so that greed has come down a little bit here but uh, when you are seeing it kind of oscillate around these areas uh, it's usually quite a bullish sign okay it's when we get into the kind of like the high 70s that's when you want to start worrying about uh, the pullbacks here uh, we do have uh, patreon right we put three patreon updates uh, little videos out this morning for you guys for trades that you should be looking out for as well as a free one patreon has a free free version okay so you can just follow me on that same same as you do on twitter or something like this right and you'll get free signal every day for, be sure to check that out and now without further ado let's jump in to the charts also be sure to check out uh, prime xbt guys they're doing weekly trading competitions where you can win 500 bucks for first and the trading competitions cost nothing to enter okay they give you
your virtual funds, you trade, and if you win, I mean, the win percentage is very, very high uh, when you look at the stats, because a lot of people don't do the minimum 50 trades, all right? So it's literally free money if you go over there, sign up, all right, and uh, and get that going, because you can just, you can start your trading career from there, right? If you win one of those, 500 bucks, and you're good to go, slam it in, 100x, <laughs> I'm just kidding, not 100x, but yeah, do definitely check those guys out, all right? Let's get on with the charts here and the trades that I'm looking for. Not too much has changed since yesterday here, guys. Uh, the reason why we didn't take the short too early here uh, is essentially because we haven't broken this low, right? Or this high, essentially, right? So uh, what we're looking for is to break down below 64.8 and then ride that all the way down to 63.4. You could have this a little bit higher if you are a little bit more cautious and you're worried about these moving averages. That's absolutely fine, okay? Uh, and just take that 1.5% very, very easily. Okay, I've been trading for like eight years now, guys. So uh, yeah, this is probably the most applicable, justifiable trade I can find here uh, for you guys at the moment. Okay, I don't really want to be rushing you guys into trades in this area because, yeah, we could easily pump from this zone. We could also come down, fill our CME gap as well. Let's talk about the CME gap, all right? So the CME gap right here, right now, some of you guys are saying I didn't talk about it last video, but it was in the thumbnail. I did talk about it <laughs> but multiple times in the video. I guess some of you just skipped to the end, but uh, yeah, that's okay. That's fine, whatever. Uh, you, you want that, uh, that speedy information. That's absolutely, that's cool. That's cool. But um, yeah, we can see here, we can see that this is the CME gap. The CME gap is from 57.5 up to 60K. Typically, we like to fill this within a week. It has been more than a week. And uh, if we are looking at this being bullish, right, and if this doesn't get filled, one thing we can say is uh, it's very, very likely that if we don't fill this, that this will be around our bear market lows next run, okay? So 60K, watch that zone. If we never hit 60K again, or we don't hit 60K in the next year or so, then uh, this will be an area I'll be targeting for the bear market bottom, okay? A massive buy zone for Bitcoin uh, if we get down there in a year or so. But I'm still kind of on the train that, hey, we're in a downtrend. Hey, we haven't broken over resistance. Hey, I'm targeting a massive short down to that level for 7% on 100X, bang it in 750% trade. No, I'm just kidding. We're maybe 10x. <laughs> All right. Uh, the criteria we need for this bigger trade here, guys, the swing trade uh, will essentially be if we lose the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. We ride this down. We want to be careful with the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band uh, because uh, we can bounce off of this bad boy quite easily. I know this is super convoluted, so let's just uh, let's just make it a bit easier to see. There you go. So uh, yeah, if we lose this 15-minute one, right, uh, watch when we hit the 60-minute because if we hit the 60-minute and we get over the 15-minute, close the trade. Okay, close that trade right there right then because uh, uh yeah it's quite likely we bounce off that 60 minute and bang it towards the upside okay uh if we lose the 60 minute as well, okay, then we're good to go here. Uh, we've only really got this uh, this structural line to worry about, okay, and that's currently around 62K. But even then, guys, you're looking at a 3% trade looking very, very tasty uh, on that trading front here, okay? Uh, if we bring up my hash ribbons, right, I did just want to show you here, right, uh, we are seeing that, uh, yes, we have hit an all time high with hash rate, as you can see there, okay, if I just make this a bit bigger. New all-time high for hash rate, fantastic stuff, okay? Moving averages are what's important here. This is where our long signals come from with this thing. And if I do just bring up the strategy tester, this is the thing, okay? I don't know if you just heard my stomach then, but I am hungry at this, this point. <laughs> uh, we can see that, yes, um, Generally, this is probably one of the best investment indicators for Bitcoin you will find on the internet, and uh, it just works, okay? It just works. Not in bear markets, of course, but uh, when we kind of enter that bull market stage, uh, this is the one you want to be looking for those long signals. And when this crosses, uh, and this will cross if we stay above it, right? If this raw hash rate stays above the moving averages, it will drag that smaller moving average up and over, and then we will get that buy signal in which we bang it in, we make all of the money, we ride it to 450 fifty thousand dollars and then we buy a yacht okay that's the plan here that is the plan coming through uh, besides that yeah if we are just looking at the macro here oh, i did just want to show you these signals as well the last signal we got was at 30k okay uh, and that closed out around 60k so uh, yes just uh, food for thought there if we can bang it then uh, yeah hopefully we get a signal around 73k roughly where we're targeting our entry the all-time high as well okay and then we bang it up for a 10 percent 
percent trade uh, all the way up to about 80k from that point all right so keep an eye on this this is this is the time to be uh excited of course but not be rushing into trades of course as well uh, and uh obviously as well as that if we do get a black swan event which uh, i do believe that some of these guys have been targeting to happen right uh then yeah we do have trades towards the downside as well it's important to be non-biased here yes everything looks super bullish across the board guys but as a trader you need to be targeting every scenario so if we do get that one event this is what we're looking at right now this is what we're looking at and this is the trade we're targeting we're targeting from 63 uh, 53k sorry all the way down to 48 uh, but uh, let's say let's say we do get that black swan and it looks really really rough and then we close our trade out at 60k uh, then uh, yeah maybe we just leave a little bit in ride it down wait for that momentum to stop right uh, really really cool stuff there uh, what are we on eight minutes i think we could probably end this pretty soon guys i think uh, i think we've covered pretty much everything here that we're looking for okay yeah i, I think that's pretty much it so uh yeah again check out prime xbt and i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic day again patreon is in the description sign up for free absolutely free okay not even a free trial just sign up it's free it's free and if you do want the signals as well the extra signals on altcoins uh, then be sure it's 10 bucks a month but besides that i'll see you guys very very soon if you have watched this far in the video if you have okay just comment a smiley face a smiley face in your trading view name and i'll give you one week on this beautiful volume weighted atr band indicator that plots in everything as you need it okay it's a beautiful indicator and you could get it for free okay or in the patreon but uh yeah <laughs> leave a comment smiley face in your trading view name and i'll add you to this bad boy no problem no problem i'll see you guys in the next one peace